Alright guys, welcome back to JVoss Gaming and today I am going to show you the best AI tool to help with your productivity. So what am I sharing with you guys because a lot of you guys have been asking me right, what do I use or you know do I use any AI tools to help you know with the you know uprising of AI right now. Alright and uh, yeah as a content creator and as a game designer all right, I need to do a lot of photos. I do work with a lot of photos, a lot of videos all right, all those different kind of creations and sometimes you know something doesn't go your way and you know you need some ai to help you all right to you know fix that problem so today i'm going to show you the top three ai tools that i personally use all right to help me to solve all this kind of problem like you know image being blurry the video is being you know shaky or the video being blurry and such i need to help to upscale you know for thumbnail or for you know for like game the game that I'm you doing you know the pixels all this and that so um yeah so without further ado let me just show you the top three AI tool that I personally use let's go all right so the first AI tool that I use is the AI image enhancer all right by RT all right so this is the RT image enhancer that can help you enhance your image um you know reduce noise on the image and a lot of things you can do with it. And the second one is the Elevate Videos, you know, like the Video Proc Converter, right? And um, yeah, so this one, it also help um, to enhance, to upscale, but for vi in video form. And we have, lastly, we have the online tool, which is called the Photo and the Photo Enhancer. This thing is really, really useful when I'm creating thumbnail to remove my background. I use this to personally remove background. I can do a lot of other things on this as well. So uh, yeah, so today we're gonna just going to talk about a few of this AI tool and I'm just show you a few demos on, you know, the AI tool itself. But mainly we are just focusing on the uh, RT. Alright, because I find this is one of the best uh, best tool and I use a lot a lot of times personally, alright, for thumbnails and a lot of like um, UI images for my game development. So uh yeah, this can be coming really, really helpful. So without further ado, let me just show you the this RT alright image enhancer. Alright, so um yeah, so this is the software itself and I think I can uh increase the screen size all right so uh yeah so this one uses <coughs> your hardware like your nvidia amd gpu or intel gpu all right you can choose any you can you choose use it to use cpu or gpu but gpu will be more efficient or you can choose the ai model all right you can choose like um different kind of model for you know for different kind of specific use you can read about it all right um but i'll just stick with the um more detailed gun v2 i think this is more of a generic model that can help me with most of the things i need instead of changing the model all right and you can choose up to different upscale so you know if your image is taken at like probably 1080p and you want to upscale it to 8k you can do it as well you can do a custom resolution really really cool and it's really really helpful in games as well where there's, there's text texture and you need to make the texture very detailed this is very very helpful all right and uh, yeah you can two pass processing you can do like um you know so you like do it two times to make it much better but sometimes you go ai ai right it can make it look kind of ai -ish. so uh, i will just stick with one pass will do or you can have image prom you can add text to it and today i'm going to demo you guys with um this one one of the uh okay where is it where did i keep it all right the demo image so uh for this one we will use some demo image you guys can see a few demo image okay so this one you can see the face it's very blurry <laughs> not very nice all right and the other one is the image with a lot of noise you can see it's very pixelated very noisy usually if you were to use camera you get this kind of image is usually um, in a low lit environment all right and the next one is although we have a very very nice image here but when you zoom in the details tends to get pretty blurry all right so this is a pretty much a 1080p um, photo but uh, yeah it looks nice when i zoom out but when you want to see the details it just get blurry so um so right now we're gonna just pull in one of the image i'll go just demo the blurry one so it can turn blur into clear all right and let me tell you this blur is really really blur all right so um <coughs> let's see what the ai can do okay it's really really fast the moment i drag it in all right it has generated it i can see the difference all right this thing is so blur i can barely even tell the guy's eyes but the ai generated eyes that looks decent enough Right, <coughs> but it still feels a bit AI-ish. But, <coughs> but 
let me just get this straight. Okay, this thing is extremely blur, right? If I have a like less blur one, I think it will be much more accurate. But this thing is way too blur. But the way it does, right, is really really good. So like probably you want to use this image as a background image or something. You know, this is the best like AI tool that to help you save save you, right? If you were to need a, like a emergency, you know, kind of um, making it clear. Or maybe your boss shouting at you like, yeah, why are you taking so blur? There's no way we can take it again. And this is probably the best you can go. And it looks really, really good. Not gonna lie, it looks really, really good. All right. So yeah, this is this is really, really from this to this. I think this is really, really insane. All right. And it looks almost eighty percent like a real human. All right. Twenty percent feels a bit AI-ish, but it still looks really good. Or you can try other model like real photo. All right. And they will um. Yeah, they will, you can try the different uh, other model to suit your needs. So if you find that this model still a bit doesn't look right, you can, can switch between different models to suit your different needs. Maybe some other model may look much better. So, you know, you guys are not stick to one model. You guys can just go around with different model that you like. Okay, so this one is still, this one is not that good. Okay, you can see the difference. So it's more blurry, much more, more blurry. Okay, so um, yeah, let me just show you another image, okay? So remember the, this one, the one with the a lot of noise one. Okay, so I'm gonna drag this in. All right, and then, okay, so as you guys can see, this one is the original one, this one is the denoise one. You can see the difference. This thing looks so much better. Although there is some like, uh, faults around here, I think it still looks kind of like generated around here. But you know, if you were to compare the image side by side, it looks, this looks just like a normal photo without noise. This looks so much better. You can see how incredible AI tool is. Right, it really, really help out unless someone really nitpick on like the, the, the minor details. But overall, if you were to look at the picture side by side, this looks way definitely way better and you know can be used in any of the, you know, you want to use it as wallpaper or whatever, you can use it as well. So, you know, this thing looks so much, so much way, way better. All right, so you guys can really tell the difference. Okay, and the last one is this really beautiful image of the mountain. All right, and the AI had generated it for us. Probably I'll upscale it to 8K. Okay, uh, we could just wait a while for it to download and it can generate from 1080p to 8K. I think that's a significant jump. Okay, so we could just wait a while for the AI to load and start generating the image. But bear in mind, this is 8K. So I can I accept some, you know, miss out of place thing but look at the difference this is extremely zoom in can you see how sharp the difference is look at this the tree here compared to the tree here look at this look at this this is so much clearer you can see the lines this one is much blurrer you guys can see that you guys can just see for yourself all right i don't have to explain myself you guys can see for yourself how much clearer this thing is a 8k resolution if you guys com can combine side by side right right to my naked eye this thing is so much sharper than this one right it's really really awesome all right so look at and you know the tool is very very fast and it's so efficient right i don't face any you know it doesn't s slow down i'm just doing it real time and it's generating in real time and so far so efficient that's that's how cool how good this software is that's why i'm using this is one of my best software i use it right like, to generate thumbnails and you know to edit some of my photos or videos that i you know misplacedly taken you know or my for my games as well so yeah so um yeah that's all you can check around all right so for this one i will link them the first link in the video description down below for you guys to check it out and i'll just move on to the next one which will be the video pro converter ai and let me tell you okay this software also really really good all right so yeah the one the previous one i showed you is about the pictures this one will be video so this one can help with video sometimes if i take a video that doesn't look right or you know i take multiple shots of video and want to link them together all right with this i can help you can help like frame interpolation so you will make it a much smoother transition instead of like very you know, in like snap snaps transition and you can upscale your video. So sometimes if I take in 1080p and want to upload in 4K, I can use this to upscale as well. Very, very simple. 
right? And you, they have a lot of other tools as well. So if you're getting this software, right, they not only include like, you know, for this or this or this, they also include all the other things that you need, all right? So like downloader is very, very useful if I were to download like some um, you, you, YouTube videos, all this, and you know, you can convert to DVD. I don't think much people use DVD nowadays, but that's a very nice extra feature you can use. You can convert video to other formats, all right? Like WAV, MAV, mp4 hvac format or any format you want and you can also record your computer screen is built right in so you can do every single thing all in here at once all right so this is a very very comprehensive software but today we are going to demonstrate to you will be the video um the stabilization because a lot of you know you guys can go ahead and see a lot of like super resolution all these people made video of it before but not much people made a video on the stabilization. So I'm going to show you just a quick show of this, how capable this software is. All right, so this is a video of it, very, very shaky, all right, of someone skiing down um, the ice mountain, you guys can see. But the video is very, very shaky. So you can tell the person is not, there's no image stabilization on the camera itself, very shaky, not very pleasing to the eyes to watch. But, all right, but with the help of all right, this video prop converted AI. All right, we can just drag and drop our video inside here, and and look at how instant it is. Okay, so uh, although this one doesn't, sh uh, I, ca I can't. Oh wait, I can. Okay, I have to manually adjust the uh, the width of this thing. Okay, so let me just show you okay so this the left is the original one the right is a ai one look at the difference look at you can you can easily tell how smooth this thing is all right i don't have to explain to you you can see for yourself it's so much smoother as if like all right this person is using a gimbal do you see how smooth this thing is compared to this one yeah it's you know it is instant and this is real time. It's not edited or anything. Okay, so yeah, it is that cool and that instant, and they have a lot of settings for you to choose. You can choose one pass or two pass, all right, and you can choose like best stability, fastest balance. Or you can choose around, choose different kind of cropping style, crop ratio. You can de interlace. You can after that, you know, if you are satisfied with it. You can trim it as well, and then after you can output it. So yeah, a lot of things you can do with it. You can play around with it to find the best, um, you know, settings for the video that you want to output to. So you know, this thing is very, very useful. I use this a lot of time for my YouTube videos. Sometimes when I take like you know, um, zoom shot or any other shots that you know, sometimes if I were to shake a bit, you know, the the footage becomes shaky. So I use this to help stabilize. It's very, very useful and just export it out and you know i can just use it and it is very very straightforward all right there's not a lot of settings to do so it's very very beginner friendly as well all right uh yeah and the last one i will talk about is this um this photo enhancer all right about um, before that all right this video proc converter ai if you guys want to check it out also i'll link them the first uh the second link in the video description down below for you guys to check it out okay it's very very worth it all right for you get so many things all in one package that can really really help you especially if you're a content creator or a videographer or you do a lot of like something related to video this is extremely extremely helpful you don't have to spend like hours and hours in premiere you know all this to slowly edit out or smooth out the transition all this just use this air drag and drop export and you're done with your work so it is very very efficient all right i have you save a lot of time all right uh, now back to the photo ai i've been using this all right for about three to four years now mostly for my youtube uh, thumbnail because sometimes i have to remove the background thumbnail so this is very very efficient in removing like um background thumb thumbnail all right, you can just upload a photo. I don't know if I have a photo to upload. Uh, what like what thing you can do? Okay, so this online tool, you don't have to download any software. So you guys can you know enhance, upscale like the 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 RT the software itself. Or you can unblur, you can remove background. This is the one I use the most. Or you can do like professional AI headshots for you know your resume or like your profile photos. You can convert all to white, you can you know, colorize black and white photo, you can remove text, you can do so many things with AI. Alright, so um, yeah, this one also very useful. And it's online, so you can just drag and drop and you can just keep creating and creating. 
Alright, uh, the the best thing is this this one. Alright, background removal is just so good. Alright, let me just find a photo that probably I want to remove background. Probably this is my girlfriend. Okay, let me just wait to upload. Okay, so uh yeah, she's uh she's showing a happy face, but yeah, you can see. Look at this, it just works. Alright, look at how good it is. Just immediately remove background and keep the subject in place. Look at this. So you can just use it for YouTube thumbnail or you know you can change your own background. You know, like when I say change background, you can really change like to an other background that you like. Or if you want like to add some photos. Alright, you see, look at this. You can do all this. Alright, you can add some green screen so you can edit out later or what. Maybe you can see like she's sitting in the middle of road. Yeah, so many things you can do. So it's very, very interesting and it's very useful. Alright, so you can adjust so many things look at look at, look at the amounts of things that you can adjust you can adjust every single detail down to the last pixel and add on extra like sticker text you know all this thing on the elements you know you can add all this to make your photos nicer it's it's just unlimited all right you can just unleash your creativity on this all right so if you are looking for the top three ai tool out these are my top three picks all right and uh yeah once again also link this photo ai in the video description down below for you guys to check it all right the third link in the video description down below so it's super super useful all right so these are my top three ai tools i hope you guys liked um like today's video and um you know if the, if it did help you um, be more productive and more efficient do give this video a thumbs up all right and uh yeah i hope you guys like my recommendation you guys want me to recommend uh, other things as well uh from for me pers from me personally all right you guys can let me know what you want me to recommend and if i use it before i'll definitely make a video and talk about what i recommended before all right and uh yeah that's all for today guys and i hope you guys really like today's video and i hope it did really help you to be more efficient and to be more productive and help you save a lot of time and uh, yeah, that's all today, guys. And this is JForce Gaming, and I shall see you guys in my next video. Peace out. I don't wanna cry.